70 watt ceramic air heating element with the 2 watt 12 volt case fan. Last vid though I had it just pushed together sitting on a brick. Wanted to show you I made a small wooden stand for it. Just 3 8 inch wood square dowel, 3 pieces like that. And then I super glued the fan onto the piece of wood, the cross piece of wood. And that's it. Then to connect the heater, just a couple of pieces of wire. Thin wire through the top. Goes through the mounting holes on the top of the fan and then just pick a hole in the uh, radiator part of the heater. Go with either two or four. I only needed two. It wasn't moving at all, so I just went with the two on the top. That is completely insane. We have to guess, but I'd say 140 or 60 Celsius for sure. It's within just a couple millimeters of breaking the bulb at the top. I wonder if it would have kept going. If you're wondering why they call these ceramic heating elements, that's that piece in the middle. That's what gets hot. You apply the voltage to it and boom, within seconds it's hot. And then those are the aluminum baffles or fins on either side. Heats up amazingly fast. Within seconds, you plug it in, turn it on, and it's just cranking out the heat. Right now, totally free heat. It's winter, but I got a nice sunny day. As far as small space heaters go, this is probably the best one so far. Because I'm just running it on a 100 watt solar panel, and it's perfect. Super warm, and just runs constantly all day. You can also hook that to a uh, 12 volt battery if you want. The Marine Deep Cycle is the best. Average size one would run this six or seven hours at a time. You get a big one, probably 10 hours. By big, I mean like 120 amp hour. At 50% discharge, that'd be 60 amp hours. This pulls 6 amps, so 6 times 10, that's how I'm figuring that. I'll put a link to the original vid in the bottom so you can see the temp measurements and the surface temps and, and the tinsel and everything. But I just wanted to do a quick update vid to show you the little wood stand and how the heater's not touching anything. It's just kind of mounted over the fan. By the way, and even though those touch, the fan keeps it nice and cool. I ran it for an hour, shut it off and touched the fan in the front. And it's cool, it doesn't even get warm. Again, three eighth inch square wood dowel. These are two and a half inch each. This is four inches long. I just super glued it together there and there, and then super glued under the fan. Drop the fan down and drop this on the front. This is only attached with the two wires right here, but you can see I just twisted it on and it holds perfect. If you need to, you could put wires at the bottom too. But that's probably the best way to do it I can think of. Then you just drop the wire on here, and the fan has the wire included. To hook it up, straight to a 100 watt solar panel will give you the six amps you need for it. Or you could go to a, a deep cycle battery, good size one of those will probably run at seven to 10 hours. Or you can even just hook it into your car, just with one of these corded plugs. Drop the wires on there and plug it in. Cigarette lighters for the car, generally, I believe, are 10 to 15 amps. They're, they're fused for 10 to 15 amps, and again, this is only 6 amp for the whole unit, so easily handle it. Might even handle two of them. So if you need extra heat in your car or your heater's out, be a good option too.